Do you guys think this defense will have to change its philosophy a little bit since Emmanuel Mosley, unfortunately, he's, he suffered the torn ACL. Um, do you think they'll have to change somewhat of this defensive philosophy since now we don't have two shutdown corners? Um, what say you, Kelts? Uh, do you think we have to change this philosophy? You know, um, D'Amico Ryans has been blitzing a lot more. That usually leaves your corners on an island. I wonder if he'll continue that. Um, and also, do we have, you know, an answer? Do we have someone on the roster who could fill Emmanuel Mosley's spot? Those are all great questions that <laughs> I might not have the answers to. No, but, um, you know, E-Man, it's going to be hard to replace E-Man. You know, we have, but I will say this, I feel much more confident right now than I did last year. When Verrett went down last year, I mean, you know, we bring in who? Josh Norman. We bring in, you know, we give uh, Dre Kirkpatrick a run, you, you, you know, and, and that was real concern. I mean, going into this year, I, I know uh, Ambry Thomas has been viewed as, you know, uh, not very good, just given the fact of his training camp and whatnot. But who knows? Maybe Ambry Thomas is a gamer because I know when he was in the games last year, um, it looked like he elevated his game every time he got opportunities. So who really knows what Ambry Thomas is going to be or if he'll get played? Who knows if it's going to be Lenore? But I just feel much more comfortable going into it with Ambry Thomas and Lenore in year two. And then we also have Womack. Every time Womack has been given the opportunity, he looks like he could take the ball away, um, even though that was preseason regardless. Um, and then we have Verrett, who before Verrett went down last year was arguably our number one cornerback. So who knows what he might. I just feel a lot more confident this year. I was way more worried last year when one of our top guys went down. It feels like, you know, we, we preached all off season long about the depth of this team and just the luxury of being able to have, you know, I know I'm getting a little off topic, but just the luxury of being able to have this kind of depth. I don't know if there's a team in the NFL that could go to, you know, get, have all the injuries that we've had and still be looked at like one of the best teams in the NFL. So I think with the Miko Ryans and the whole coaching staff, I think we're going to figure it out. You know, we might see a slight drop, but I don't think it's going to be anything major, uh, real talk. What about you, Bay Area Ballard? Um, who replaces Emmanuel Mosley? And do you think the 49ers and D'Amico Ryans will change up their defensive philosophy so far? No, I don't think you're going to be going to have to change anything. I'm looking at the youngster, the rook. Sam Womack, I think he's <laughs> going to get his shot on the perimeter. We know they started him out in the slot. He looked good, made some plays. Demo, I think they realized Yamador Lenore is the better scheme fit in the slot because they ask the slot corner to really hold up in the run game to blitz, and Demo's super physical. Like That's a strength of Diamador Lenore. So I think that's why they moved Womack back outside and now he's going to get his chance to shine. I think he's a talented kid. He's sticky in coverage. And then you got the other guy that Kelts mentioned too, Jason Verrett. Jason Verrett working his way back towards ACL that first game last year. I think he's going to be ready to go here pretty soon. So I think you roll out the rook, and you know if he's a little shaky, then you see hey, you test out Jason Verrett. Is he ready to roll? Let's get him amped up because. Yeah, CB2 is a question mark now opposite Charvarius Ward, which Charvarius Ward, can I just say that he's been phenomenal? Yeah, well, at worth every penny, like John Lynch said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, compared to last year, obviously the loss of Emmanuel Mosley is tough because last year Verrett went down and Emmanuel Mosley was that guy that came, came in and that played a huge role and that literally was one of the most underrated quarterbacks all of last year, but now him going down, obviously having that pick six, which was amazing by him. But it's obviously tough, tough losing a guy like Emmanuel Mosley. And Charvarius Ward and both uh, Emmanuel Mosley have been, been, been pretty much locked down this year. And they've been a locked down cornerback duo. Emmanuel Mosley has been playing really well. Charvarius Ward has been playing really well. And even in that Carolina game, outside of one play where he got uh, the, you know, Robbie Anderson pushed off a little bit and he got some separation. Charvarius Ward was with the receiver every step of the way, and he made a lot of great plays on Sunday in this whole entire season. 
So obviously losing Emmanuel Mosley is tough because he's been really great as well. But the Niners have options compared to last year where you had to bring in, you know, a Josh Norman, for example, or Dark West or whoever it might be. You have options this year, right? You have Samuel Womack, who a lot of us thought potentially would be your slot corner coming into this season, especially after that amazing preseason performance that he had. You have Ambry Thomas, who came in last year when, when, when you had some injuries. You have options. And Verrett, obviously. Verrett was your cornerback one last year. And now you also have an option of Verrett. Now, I don't think Verrett's going to come in unless he's 100% ready to go. And I don't think he's 100% ready to go. So I definitely don't expect to see Verrett at least for another week or two. I don't think Verrett's going to be that immediate replacement. Um, There was a video of him running and trying to run out. He run on Sunday. He didn't look 100% yet. But you have options, right? Compared to last year, you have options and you have guys that can come in. And you guys pretty much mentioned it with, you know, you know, uh, Ambry Thomas or Samuel Womack. The Niners have options this year, and they have more options this year than they had last year. So, obviously, losing a guy like Emmanuel Mosley is tough, but it definitely helps to have options um, to, you know, replace a guy like him. But Emmanuel Mosley is tough for him, man. I-, I feel so bad for him because he's had a great year, and he's just been really, really, really good. And he potentially could have had a big payday this off season, a payday this off season, if if he was able to stay healthy. So obviously. Him not being able to, you know, play anymore for the rest of the season. Definitely got to feel bad for him, especially with the way that he was playing the season at a high elite level. It definitely, uh, you definitely feel bad. You got to feel bad for Emmanuel Mosley. 